Hi guys, welcome to this channel. We are using Spine to animate to the characters for games. While I gather useful tips and tricks to share with you in the next video, I thought it would be good if I make a short video explaining one particular trick in depth. In this video, I will show you how to use Bond Inherit Rotation and Scale functionality, and most importantly, how to create a rig where you can switch them on and off in the animation. Right now, you are looking at Tracer Project, which we have done previously. I will leave the link to the playlist on the screen. Now let's see what Bone Inherit Rotation and Scale is and where to find them. We can find these settings in the Bone Properties panel, which you can open by selecting any bone. Sometimes they will be disabled as with Root Bone or bones that are constrained by two Bone ID constraints. Let's see an example where we might want to disable Inherit Rotation. Let's assume Tracer has a long earring, which we will add as a child to the head bone. Now when we rotate the head, the earring will rotate by the same amount, which is expected. But in the animation, whenever we rotate the head, we might need to rotate the earring back to compensate and simulate gravitational pull on the earring. For that, we can disable inherent rotation for the earring by selecting the earring bone and unchecking the rotation setting under the inherent section. Now you can see that when I rotate the head, earring rotation will not be affected. This is cool. I use it a lot in my rigs, mostly for hanging stuff such as earrings, necklace, skirt, arms and head. We can see that it's also true for Tracer. Let's rotate her chest to demonstrate that her shoulders and head do not inherit rotation. Ok, but what if we want to change this behavior in animate mode? As you can see that setting is not keyable here. Let's go back to setup mode and do a slight change. Make sure the earring is selected. Then check the rotation back as it was by default. Instead, we'll duplicate that bone, give it a name, set the length to 0 and uncheck rotation inheritance for it. Next, let's put that earring into inherent bone that we have just created. If we rotate the head, we can see that head rotation doesn't affect the earring. Now, if we want to make it animatable, we need to select the inherent bone and create transform constraint by choosing head as a target. Right away we need to hit match to set the offset and let's give 100% value to rotation mix. Now even though inherent bone has rotation inheritance unchecked, it rotates with the head since the transform constraint overrides by the mix value. To disable rotation inheritance for the earring, we just need to set the mix value to 0 in the constraint properties panel. Let's test it now. Note, no matter what setup we use, we can animate the earring however we want. Similarly, you can also disable scale inheritance by just unchecking scale inheritance for the inherent bone and giving 100% value to the same constraint that we have just created. Let's see. That's it, I hope you liked the video, if so hit subscribe not to miss the next one. I appreciate any feedback that can improve this channel, feel free to leave them in the comment section. See you in the next video, bye guys.